Welcome, this is Eve Kristoff, your love life coach. Welcome home to East Eden. So I'm talking about macho magic versus macho mania. And this uh, particular archetype I'm discussing is the provider protector and the incredible gift of him. You know, the provider protector is not stopping a woman from working. Uh, it's just that he is allowing her to have her deep wish her deep dream of being a homemaker, being there with her children and cooking and, and creating heaven on earth. And because he's working and allowing her not to work, she really does create heaven on earth. She makes a beautiful environment and she creates, cooks amazing food. And, um, and he's also, because he's providing and protecting physically, he's also providing and protecting, protecting for her heart. He wants her to grow and go to school and develop a career along the way too. Um, and she is so, so thankful, right? She, she's, so what's happening is this deep, uh, polarity, this intense polarity between the two, this devotional um, balance between masculine and feminine and outer and inner um, priorities, but the money is shared. Often for a great provider protector, what he does is he actually hands his check to her and she uh, takes care of all the bills and then hands money back to him uh, and the two of them for what, what do we have to play with? What do we have for vacations, right? And in their sexuality, uh, there's so much trust, there's so much balance that there is usually great sex going on, there's monogamy, and there is this incredibly deep tantra that can develop. That's like super cosmic sex that is flowing um, from absolute trust, absolute, uh, you know, willingness to do this adventure of um, balancing each other. So I know this is a super hard one to accomplish these days because wages are so much lower and it's so hard to support a woman entirely. Uh, but there are people who do it in my neighborhoods. A couple were um, a guy just having regular wages, was supporting the family. It seemed too hard. He went back to work and then they lost all the balance of her mothering and the food and the grace and the, and the sweetness. And um, so she actually stopped working, went back to that, and all of the grace came back even though they had less money. All right, so, but what is the opposite of the provider protector? That's the controller miser. He's the one who's controlling the purse strings. He may be providing monetarily, but he won't allow her to create beauty or to, to buy anything for herself or choose the priorities of, of home decorating. Uh, he's constantly um, denying her pleasure and saying what, the, the, calling the shots and even damping her ability. Well, maybe he'll support her to, to to be in school because he's, you know, all dictatorial and he wants everything in a row. Um, but what she's doing is that she's dreaming of being a lesbian. She's dreaming of women because she's longing for femininity so much. I've seen this over and over again in my home decorating business. I go in there and the relationship's almost over because the miser man has kept her from home decorating. He's kept her from color and painting and drapes and fabrics and, and and, and furniture and, and rugs, and he's kept her from her own home, uh, self-adornment. So you've got a drab woman who looks like crap, she can't take care of herself, an ugly environment, and the sex is now totally mechanical because he's also controlling, he doesn't want her to be an initiator with sex. He doesn't want her to be wild and free. Sex toys, sex gadgets, they're off limits because it makes him feel out of control. And now she's so freaking bored. She's dreaming of being a lesbian even though she never would have been. She's just longing for the feminine. She's longing for her own feminine, and he has blocked her flow completely. Okay, so you want to be the provider protector in macho magic, right? And what's likely is you will have total monogamous devotion and deep tantric polarity so good so hot that you can explore every realm of sexual passion and family 
at the same time. Yes, you can. It's much easier if you if you do that um, that setup. As long as a woman is respected to be free and and develop herself as a human being and um, do some work, you know, to bring in more for the family, that will be a really good balance. Okay, love. Subscribe to this channel. Pass these videos along. Okay, I'm your love life coach and I can help you. Contact me. My email's below. Love life.